Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Um, just a quick video today to show you um, how you're going to attach your binding posts. This is all J Jatson product. So here we have the 012-0101. It's a Jatson binding post plate. So it's black powder coat just for, for one pair. So you basically pop in your your pair in of connectors in there and it goes in the back of your speaker like that obviously here we're just going through the word but you'd have a cutout for this to fit in and obviously your speaker post would go in there you're probably wondering what this is so we are working on a a small shelf mount speaker kit that's coming soon we're going to be selling it flat pack it's 12 mil mdf and it sounds pretty awesome so watch out for that one so the reason we're doing this, we had a customer who had a bit of an issue with these guys, the 0120119. So we'll try, the, we'll do the difficult one first. He was effectively saying that the washers, this is metal by the way, so you, you wanna kind of, it needs to be isolated because you don't want the positive and negative connecting electro, electrically. So get, get your posts out. We're just going to do it with a red one. So it's the washers that were causing a bit of the issue, but there's a simple remedy. So this is the external part. It's flush. The internal part has this um, gasket going around to give you a good airtight seal when you actually fit them. They're fitted by countersunk screws into the wood. Here we have the 0120119. I've dismantled it. So the external side is obviously the flush powder coat end. Don't worry about that, that was me. I made that happen. So effectively the washer, if you can see, has an, um, it's like a key and lock. So basically that, projects out and that has to line up with the projection there so pop it in pop it in there and then on the other side the inside obviously it's rebated so the male part goes on the inside so pop that on there is a flat part to this washer you can see so make sure you line it up right, which is what I'm trying to do. There you go. Get the nut on. Don't do it up tight yet, because you have to line it up. That's good. So then you need to open up this, because you can, you can see the hole there. Yep. We're going to put a screwdriver in there. Okay, I'm not putting a screwdriver in there. We're going to put an Allen key. So that will go through that hole. Just to keep it steady. And then what you're doing, you're going to line up to the keyhole bit. You can see, I can see the, that there. So the, the problem with, with this particular one is a tight fit. So hold that steady and then with it's a 12 mil plier you just slowly tighten it up and as you're tightening it the washer is squeezed into the hole and then you're stopping this rotating by having your hand on that Go. So the finished product there, you can see that's perfectly fitted now. That's absolutely straight. The washer's gone through the hole so it's isolated. And on the other side, it's isolated there. So cool, that's that done, that one. And then you've got the other sort. So this is the 012-0220. 
basically these two are the same but just different finish on them and this is the 012210 there you go so they're both the same these are easily easy to fit so let's go with the um, the gold version take it apart that rebates onto the body like that and you can see the key again there line that up with the hole these fit quite easily these yep just a little push and that kind of fits in nicely and then you've got the other insulation washer on the other side the two washers and then the nut and like that Tighten it, by hand, tighten it by hand, undo that. Pop that in there just to make sure it doesn't twist. 12 mil again, tighten up. Nice and easy. Boom, so that's all fitted. Lovely. And then this one, this one is the 0120209. We need some a hole for this one, so let's get this one off quickly. So on the site page for this um, plate, you will see all the a listing of all the posts that fit it. Put the washer off. Sort that out in a minute. Take this one apart. Very similar design to the other one, as in the washer is. Open that up. And then put that in. Nice snug fit again. I'm gonna pop a screw in there to keep it in place. So on the internal part, isolation washer, other washer, no. And then around like that. Look, there you go. Nice and secure. All good. So all of these Jetson posts are, they prefer soldering. So you can see there's a hole there. There isn't a screw that goes into that. That's just for your wire to fit through. You can bend it round and solder. Though this one you can solder, but also it has a grub screw. Can you see the grub screw? So that's cool. That for those who don't want to solder. And then the other ones. So this is the 220 and the 210. Clearly it's solderable there. I mean, you could, in essence, fit your own washer there and solder it up to that if you want to but better just to go straight to the the post there you go happy diy before i sign off i want to say a big thank you for watching our videos like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms see you later